Hey everyone, it's Ragnar here. Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm bringing you an army that I'm very surprised on how good it is. Recently, the Hogs received a buff, and I've been seeing a lot of pro players doing the Queen Charge Hog attack, which is really, really strong. However, if you're like me and you don't know how to Queen Charge, or your Queen decides to go all over the place, this army is exactly for you. So, as you can see here, I've been getting a lot of triples recently, and it's a lot of them like constant obviously not all of them are triples but I've been getting quite a few so many that I want to bring it to you and it's so simple to use the army that I use is this one I use three super wall breakers three cockaloons four wizards a yeti 35 hawks two ice golems and three head hunters the spells are two heals one rage four invisibility spells one poison and in the CC I usually bring the four super wizards with uh, five goblins a rage, a freeze, and I use the blimp. As you can see here, the invisibility spells and the super wizards are for a blizzard, which basically makes it really good strategy. So now let me show you some of the triples that I've had with this strategy and I can walk through it with you and see if it's a strategy that you would like to use. So this is the first attack against Jai and basically what I do is I use the Blizzard and what I want to get with the Blizzard is the Town Hall. Now if there's not a lot of value around the Town Hall then just use a couple of invisibility spells. Basically the only thing you want is to get that Town Hall down with your Blizzard. Now, um, sometimes as well in other bases, if I see a lot of value elsewhere, then I'll use the Blizzard for there, and then I sew in my heroes for the Town Hall. You basically, because you have your hooks, you want to get that Town Hall down. However, I do have a replay that I'll show later on, where I couldn't get uh, Town Hall with my Blizzard, I couldn't get it with my heroes, and I had to get it with the hooks, so I can show you what to do whenever you have to fix your attack. But over here, we've got the... Blizzard and then usually what I do is once the Blizzard has created that hole in the in the inside of the base I put my king and queen on the back then I send my hogs alongside them just to keep my heroes alive I use the wooden ability nice and early I use the royal champion with them as well and then you just start putting the heals wherever you see the splash damage hitting your hogs um, usually it will be multi infernos or where the bomb towers are or if you see that there were double giant bombs or something like that that's where you have to put your heals um, so yeah wooden ability nice and early then you have a couple of heals throughout the base and the deployment of the hogs is really easy. Sometimes you can just send all of them or maybe keep 10 of them and that way you can send the 10 on the flanks. Here we've got another base that is quite uh, popular in Legends. Now again, I'm sending the Blizzard for the Town Hall. I'm putting a couple of invisibility spells there, trying to get that Town Hall down. Now, keep an eye on your Super Wizards because a lot of the time they will run into the poison so you don't want to throw another invisibility spell there because then it's just going to be pointless and then that's going to be a, an invisibility spell swag that you could have used with the Queen or with the Royal Champion so over here uh, and the Yeti as well I use the Yeti to funnel my heroes to wherever I want them to go in I usually want them to go at least into one layer inside the base if I can get any of the heroes as well uh, it's definitely a lot of value and then I just use the hogs on the flanks just to keep them in the center of the base as my hogs are running around as you can see here I use the the majority of the hogs in but I put some on the flanks as well then when I'm using the warden ability that's when I use the rage for the hogs so that they go through the defenses nice and quick while they're on their warden ability if you put the rage with the heal a lot of the time it's just a wasted heal because the rage will push your hogs really really fast throughout the base and then they're not going to be using that heal for uh, very long so try not doing that if you use the rage use it whenever they're under warden ability now if they're going straight into a scatter or into multiple multi infernos or something like that that's when you want to use the warden ability here we've got another base and basically the same thing blizzard for the town hall the three loons are basically coco loons for your blimp and then over here we've landed on the compartment i wanted to we got the tank hole down and then these wizards they could have gone into the center of the base but the other wizards opened the other side of the wall a lot faster because of the goblins 
so that they ended up getting out which is fine then we just start with the king and queen as you can see I always put them behind wherever I created the hole with my blizzard yeti to funnel them in a couple of super wall breakers just to open those walls so that they do go into a little bit more inside the base over here they can also get rid of the defending world champion the CC comes out you can put the poison down and then we just send the hooks from the side just putting the heel down as there's the multi inferno there using the warning ability as well I put the warning ability so put the rage down that way they can go through the eagle compartment nice and quick the three expos and the scatter shots were still in the center of the base so this was getting a little bit iffy however my road champion still had her ability so she ended up going in there with some of the hogs so she was able to get rid of those defenses she ended up dying but the scatter is almost dead we had just a few hogs alive now there's only two and they're going through the base now this is one of the only things that i do not like about this strategy it takes ages if you don't have cleanup so one of the things you can do is you can just get rid of some of the hooks bring some more wizards one thing that a clan mate did suggest is bringing at least one miner so that if you have any buildings inside the base like the clan castle the miner can go in there and clean it up once the hogs have gotten rid of everything else around him. Now over here I sent a blizzard for the tangle. They did not get the tangle, so I'm like, okay. Now I'm gonna have to send the king and the queen for the tangle. So my idea was following at 12, wall breaking into the tangle so that my king, the two ice golems and my queen went in there. My king decided to die. One ice golem decided to go by himself. The yak is getting killed by the single inferno. There's my queen, but she decided to walk, so I know that she's not gonna go for the town hall. So now I'm just thinking, okay, how am I gonna get the town hall? And then what I decided, just send a bunch of hogs into the expo. They're gonna be going to the town hall, use the rage. They're gonna get the town hall nice and quick, and then just send the rest of the hogs from the top, put the heal down just so that they get topped up in case that they were getting um, damaged from the poison. And then they just continue going down, use the second heal nice and quick there's no point just hugging onto the um, spells because basically if you start hugging uh, the heal uh, yeah I'll just use it a little bit later on down the track by the time you decide to use it you have no more hogs left so what's the point so on this base most of the damage was at the top so that's why I decided to heal them nice and quick they do end up dying but we still have the royal champion the warden we've got a little bit of cleanup going around and there's no more defenses so as I said before, it does take a little bit of time, so maybe if you're running into a lot of um, time fills, just bring a few more wizards. Here we have another base, um, and we're sending the blimp again for the town hall. It's going to be landing where the uh, expos are. We find a tornado trap, and actually the tornado trap ended up helping me because it sends the super wizards towards the town hall. Now we're uh, just getting rid of everything else. We got rid of a couple of expos, getting rid of that bomb tower, which is really good when you're coming with hogs. Now I can start with my king and queen again from behind where I sent the blizzard. The CC, there's like a super minion. I decided to poison it, but probably I shouldn't have. I think there was a few more super minions inside. I used my freeze for the single inferno just to give my queen a little bit of extra time to go in there and try to get rid of it. I use another super wall breaker so she goes inside she can get rid of the defending world champion the two super minions did came out of the cc and the only thing that can target air is the world champion so we're gonna be hoping that she can get rid of those super minions now we're sending all of the hogs in with the world champion and the warden using the warden ability nice and early i can put the rage so that they go through the sky is nice and quick they just cut through the defenses like butter if they're under rage the super minions are still there causing pain but now the royal champion and the headhunters end up killing them there's no like there's a few defenses left but we still have so many hogs and that's the thing if you still have hogs uh, surviving after all the defenses go down then cleanup is nice and easy it's only an issue whenever you don't have any more hogs around and you only have the royal champion left and a couple of wizards here we have another base sending again the blimp for the town hall using the invisibility spell the rage and then just keep using the invisibility spell and keep an eye on those super wizards if they go onto the poison 
don't put any more invisibility spells because it's just gonna be wasted as you can see here I've got an invisibility spell uh, left for me and I can use it either with the queen or I can use it with the royal champion and it's gonna be a lot more value than just wasting it with one super wizard always use the two eyes golems just to tank for your king and queen you're going to be getting a lot more value and use that yeti to funnel them wherever you want them to go if you don't want to use a yeti and you want to use a baby dragon then that's also pretty good like uh, depending what you want to use i like using the yeti because the yeti might end up getting rid of any defenses that are surrounding the buildings that the yeti is uh, funneling uh, over here we had the hogs going into the center and to the sides. I ended up raging the hogs that were in the center of the base. That heal maybe was a little bit swagged, but I've got the hogs just going through the rest of the defenses. The queen ends up using her ability and she can get rid of that defending king. And over here we've got the invisibility spell, which mm, I think I swagged as well. But um, the base is gone. Now it's just clean up and... Uh, as you can see it was like 25 seconds of cleanup so again if I had that extra mana probably would have been better here we've got this base same idea Blizzard for the town hall and basically this is similar to the queen charge mass hogs attack the only difference is that instead of using a siege barracks now you're using a blimp and instead of using rages for your queen charge you're using the invisibility spells for the blizzard and then um well usually i think they use the king for funneling but if you have hogs you don't really need a lot of extra funneling it's good if they have a nice little corridor when they go in which is why i do the hero dive just to try to narrow the path for the hogs get rid of more defenses try to get rid of a couple of defending heroes and then that's when i send my hogs if you can send your hogs at the same time as your heroes are going into the base it's great because a lot of the time then the hogs can tank for your heroes and the heroes can tank for your hogs and um, basically they both end up surviving the the attack so over here i'm sending the hogs as the queen is on one of the side of the bases and uh, i use the one ability now i quick put the rage sorry put the heal down put the rage in the center of the base so that they go into the eagle nice and quick i do end up putting another heal where the multi inferno is just to kind of get those troops to get rid of that multi inferno i didn't want that multi inferno to stay standing and also if you have your wizards and everything just start sprinkling them behind where wherever the hooks have gone through and that way you won't have as many issues with town fills here we got an interesting base but this was also kind of like in the first week of the legends week and i don't know why but i've been facing a lot of interesting and by interesting i say like mm, like this type of bases uh, for the first week over here we see how the super wizard just exploded next to the temple so just keep an eye on that because if they explode you don't want to throw your fourth invisibility spell trust me i've done it so many times so that's why i'm saying it so many times now over here we've got the king going the queen is staying inside we've got a couple of ice golems freezing that defending king you do have three headhunters so don't forget to use them use them so to help your heroes kill the defending heroes or if your hogs are going straight into a defending hero just make sure that you do keep one and under one ability they can help out and uh, they will help the royal champion kill the defending uh, heroes here i put the hogs coming in just to keep the queen in the center of the base the other thing about turning the hogs next to your queen is that as they're going through the base then the queen stays behind and she can act as cleanup therefore helping you not time fail everything just keeps going around i put the poison down for the defending queen she goes down now we're on the final scatter get rid of all of that we still have quite a few hogs only a couple of defenses left and now just clean up that's the thing it's always getting rid of the defenses is not nice and easy it's just getting the cleanup so this is yami i definitely suggest using it it's really really strong let me know how you go with it but if you like the video please click the like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time with more guys see ya